Breaking news! Rex the punching bag is literally stuck out in the middle of the pond with no way to get out! Oh, if oh only God. there was someone around that could save him! Wait a minute, what's this? Someone coming right now to save him? What's up, my dudes? I am here right now to save Rex from the pond water! Because he's literally stranded out in the middle of it as he just heard Kevin Wigglesworth stay on the news! So let's do this! Let's do this! So I ran to the back of my vehicle and opened it up and grabbed this flotation device! Alright, guys! So as you can see, I got this flotation device right here! That I'm gonna throw out to Rex so that he can grab onto it and I can pull him in and save him from the pond! So let's go save him! Guys, look! He's literally right there, 3.505 feet out in the pond! Oh, hello there! It's a good thing I got a 400 foot rope, so I should be able to reach Rex super easily! So I started swinging around the flotation device like a lasso, and then I threw it at Rex! And I walked around with it until it went on top of him! Rex, grab on! Uh, guys, I forgot that Rex doesn't have any arms. You stupid. No way, I can't believe this. This Rex doesn't have any arms. He literally can't grab onto my flotation device so I can save him with it. So this makes me so mad. I'm just going to have to absolutely demolish Rex now. Rex, take this. So I ran over to Rex and I grabbed him out of the pond and started rolling him up the hill. Then I jumped on top of him and started punching him with his boxing glove. Then I threw the boxing glove and grabbed this bowling ball and dropped it on him and then rolled it into the side of him. I am the rage monster! A few moments later. Oh, hello, yeah. No, seriously, Torn fam, what is up and welcome to today's brand new video. Now, guys, today's video is going to be super insanely epic. Because if you don't remember, in my last video, which is literally this video right here up on the screen, we literally found Huggy Wuggy's hideout like in real life. And if you don't remember, Huggy Wuggy's house is literally just right over there by our burn pile. Oh, my God. So now that we know where Huggy Wuggy's hiding spot is at, we're going to go set a trap up. Like where Huggy Wuggy has been staying at. And hopefully we can capture him. But before we go set up this trap, guys, if you haven't already, then please go smash that thumbs up button right now and absolutely demolish that subscribe button as well. Because the kitty cat wants you guys to. What? Do it! <laughs> We are for real gonna be trying to set up a trap to try and capture Huggy Wuggy, like this creepy character up on the screen right here in real life. Oh snap. So our mission right now is to go find the supplies that we need to set up this trap so that we can try to capture him. Let's go ahead and do it. Do it! So I ran this way and I parkoured over Rex and then I grabbed the flotation device and started pulling the rope out of it. Once I was done, I took the floaty and yeeted it out into the pond. Then I grabbed the rope and ran over to my car and threw the rope in the back of my vehicle. And I saw this sunscreen so I sprayed some of it on so I didn't get sunburned. Next, I shut the back of my vehicle and hopped inside of it and started it up and started driving away. All the way over to Rex and while I was backing up, I accidentally hit him. He needs some milk. So I drove off of Rex and then I ran back to him and I threw him onto the ground and lifted up the tailgate and threw him inside. Then I hopped inside of the vehicle and went to the front seat and started driving away. So I could head all the way over to Huggy Wuggy's house and start setting up this trap. Alright guys, we have now made it over to Huggy Wuggy's hiding spot. Like as you can see, this is the fort that we found in our last video. And we're pretty sure that Huggy Wuggy is literally hiding back in here. So hopefully he's not back there right now. I'm gonna take this tennis racket and we're gonna go inside of there to see if he's in there. Come on. So I went towards his house and looked inside. Yes. Let's go. Huggy Wuggy is at home right now. All right, so now that we know that Huggy Wuggy is at home right now, it's now time to go ahead and set up the trap. So the first thing that we're gonna need is this rope because this is actually gonna be the trap itself. <laughs> so I grabbed the rope and pulled it out of the trunk and then I yeeted it into Huggy Wuggy's house. And then I crawled through it to the other side. So now I'm gonna take this end of the rope right here and I'm gonna wrap it around these two big trees. Just like that. Then I'm going to take the other end of the rope and put it through this 
in. Then I'm gonna pull it through just like this. And now this rope is attached to the tree. And now I'm gonna take this side and put it right over here just like this. So whenever Huggy Wuggy comes back to his house, hopefully he'll step inside of our trap. And whenever he steps inside of it and he tries to walk away, the knob will literally cinch up on him, trapping him inside, and he won't be able to get out of it. And then we will successfully have captured Huggy Wuggy in real life. So let's just set this back down right here on the ground and then cover this up with leaves so that he doesn't see it. So I started covering up the rope to hide the trap from Huggy Wuggy. And I literally covered up the entire thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So as you can see, we got the rope running all the way from right here and we got it all the way covered up. And it runs all the way to the middle of Huggy Wuggy's house. Oh, and if Huggy yeah. Wuggy steps inside the rope and pulls, it'll literally cinch down on him, trapping him inside. And then to make sure that Huggy Wuggy comes back to his house, we actually dressed up Rex to look exactly like me. Oh my God. Say what? Because if you don't remember, Huggy Wuggy literally said that he's gonna try to get me, like attack me or something. So hopefully Huggy Wuggy will actually think that this is me and not Rick. And he'll come to try to get me and whenever he does, he'll step inside of our trap and get captured inside. But yeah guys, like I said, all we can do is just go inside and wait. And then we'll have to come back out here later to check on the trap to see if Huggy Wuggy got captured inside. So I'm just gonna go inside right now and we will see you guys later whenever we come back out here to check on the trap. Peace out until then. So I jumped over Huggy Wuggy's house and I shut the trunk to my car and I hopped inside and started it up and drove away. 8.01 p.m. All right, guys, so it is now nighttime outside. Like, it's literally 8.01 p.m. And as you can see, it's, like, super dark outside right now. But our mission right now is to head over to Huggy Wuggy's house to inspect the trap that we set up earlier today to see if Huggy Wuggy is inside of the trap or not. Oh, my God. So without wasting any more time, let's just go ahead and send it. So I ran over and jumped off for day. Then I got up and started running on my foot all the way over towards the trap. Oh my guys, now it's super scary out here. And I'm literally risking my life once again. So if you guys haven't already, please go smash that thumbs up button and absolutely demolish that subscribe button as well. Because that would be super legitness. Legitness. After I begged you guys to smash a thumbs up button, I continued on my journey. Alright guys, so Huggy Wuggy's house is literally just right here. So we're gonna go inside and see if Huggy Wuggy is inside of there, inside of our trap. Here goes nothing. So I went over to his house and slowly entered inside of it. And started looking for the trap to see if he was captured. Guys, no way. The trap was right here. And it's literally gone. I wonder if Huggy Wuggy is attached to the rope right now. Oh Let's try to find it. So I started looking everywhere for the trap. I threw Rex out of my way and literally looked everywhere until I saw the rope. No way! It's the rope! And it leads this way! So I followed the rope. It literally goes all the way up here. See? What? No way! Huggy Wuggy's literally right there in our trap! Oh my god! We gotta go get him right now before he gets away! So I hurried up and I ran over and grabbed Huggy Wuggy straight out of the tree! Oh my goodness! Look, it's literally Huggy Wuggy in real life! No way, I can't believe this! He's literally stuck inside of our trap right here! And he literally climbed up this tree and was sitting on this branch! Probably because he couldn't get away! So yes, let's go! We literally just captured Huggy Wuggy in real life! And guys, look! Huggy Wuggy is literally like super small right now! Oh if you don't remember in my last video, we literally caught Huggy Wuggy moving on video, but he was literally like 10 feet tall! And now he's only like 1 foot tall! So guys, go in the comment section down below right now and let me know what you guys think. Like, do you think Huggy Wuggy can literally shrink himself? Or do you think this is like baby Huggy Wuggy or something? Oh and also God. let me know what you guys think it is that we should do next with Huggy Wuggy. But this is absolutely insane. We literally set out a trap to try to capture Huggy Wuggy and we literally did it. But I'm gonna go ahead and get Huggy Wuggy out of this trap. So I kept on pulling until I finally got Huggy Wuggy out of the trap. Alright, Huggy Wuggy is now officially out of the trap and i'm gonna hurry up and go inside and put him somewhere where he won't be able to get away so guys thank you so much for watching today's video it was absolutely insane and we will see you guys next time on a brand new video with torg aka that one random ginger peace out oh. Oh.
do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true!